Hey everybody. Today we're going to do the Old Horse Trail at Simon B. Elliott State Park. And I tried to print off the uh, map because last time I was down at uh, Simon B. Elliott they didn't have uh, any uh, trail maps. and But I couldn't get the eastern part of the map here which is um, which I kind of need. I don't really need all this over here. I couldn't get that part of the map to print out, no matter what I tried, so I have uh, hand-drawn the missing part. <laughs> so the Old Horse Trail um, starts way over here someplace, and we're going to pick it up right there. So we'll park here, and then come back to this connector trail, come out to the Old Horse Trail and go south, and follow it around clockwise, like so, and come back to here. Okay, we're at Simon B. Elliott State Park. Um, it's about 32, 33 degrees. It is 12.53 p.m. So, I am going to leave a note in the dashboard of my car. Hiking the old horse trail clockwise. Left at 12.54 p.m. February 1st, 2022. I'll stick that up there in the windshield so that if I disappear um, and somebody says that car's been there a while, what's the deal with that? They'll see. Uh, they'll see the note. But I've also texted my friend Nyla to let her know that I'm leaving now and that she should hear from me by five o'clock. So that if she doesn't. She can make some calls. Pretty sure this is the connector trail that takes us down to the old horse trail. According to the map, we're supposed to pass by a, uh, a pavilion, picnic pavilion, which seems to be that one. And this is going in the right direction. So, down a little ways, we'll pick up the old horse trail. We're at about uh, uh, 2,120 feet elevation, and we'll be rising to about 2,160. The lowest point is about uh, 2,080. Ah, okay. Wait, so cabins are down there. That means that this is the old Cinema Honing Road. So, which is an option. I think we may just take it. Um, yeah, let's just take it. That will also take us down to the old horse trail. I'm wearing a t-shirt and then a, a uh, thermal long sleeve shirt and then another long sleeve shirt over that and a fleece vest or is it I think it's fleece. It's something close. And then the uh, outer jacket, which looks like two. It looks like a sweat jacket and a flannel shirt, but it's one piece. So it's insulated flannel with the uh, sweatshirt type hood. Well, if we go to the left here, this looks kind of fun. But, to be honest, I don't know if it goes through. I see a blue blaze on this tree here. If you can see that, it's kind of light. But there is a blue blaze there, which indicates that this is a trail. Let's try this. I think this will go down to the old horse trail. There's another blaze. If you're not a hiker, that uh, often trails are blazed, meaning that uh, there are color, they're color-coded, and swaths of paint are put on trees alongside the trail, or rocks, or it can be anything really, um, just to give you confidence that you're still on the trail. So you follow the blazes to keep them on the trail. And of course, they can be marked by signs and other things too, but then you have the trails that aren't marked 
You just have to follow a map and try to stay on it. This is pretty cool. It looks like it might be suitable for snowmobiles. Although, in some places these branches are low enough that they could be a hazard. Also, you see I'm wearing gloves. These are not the thickest gloves, but I do have a pair of mittens also in my backpack. And uh, if your fingers get cold, mittens are better because your fingers are up against each other and they can keep each other warm. Or if the gloves get wet, if I stumble and fall into snow and the gloves get all wet, I can uh, change to the mittens. Also in the backpack are uh, two extra pairs of dry socks and another pair of shoes, which are sort of loafers. Got my uh, hiking boots on here, but uh, so that's in case I should stumble into a big old wet puddle or something. And here is the old horse trail. And we want to go this way. And it is marked by yellow blazes. So, follow the yellow blazes. We'll be good. Alright, no more turns to make or uh, hopefully no more confusion about where we are. We just stay on this. It goes, we're going west, and it goes a certain distance and drops down, uh, uh, well, goes up about 40 feet in elevation, and then drops down another 80 or so. We cross the uh, uh, Stony, Stony Creek, Stony Run Creek, I think. There's another yellow blaze. And then we come up another uh, 40 feet or so, start going east, and back to the car. I wanted to get out here before the, before all this snow melts. Um, I'm not sure what the high is supposed to be today, maybe close to 40. And then tomorrow, the high is in the 40s, and also uh, there will be rain, a lot of rain coming. So it's going to wash all this snow away. And then right after that, we're going to get a whole bunch more snow. I told you about my several layers. I'm bundled up pretty good. Already feeling a little bit warm. Ready to open up my jacket. But obviously, too many layers is better than too few. Layers can always be removed. But if you need more layers and don't have them, that's a problem. Take this road north and go right back to the car. It's about seven or eight minute walk. Last chance to bail out. Here's a U.S. Geological Service observation well. Trail has been kind of wide and cleared, right? Looking like that, and I guess it's following an access road which continues straight. But the trail goes this away. So now the walking gets a little more interesting. There's the yellow blaze. Doing a little unzipping because I'm already feeling a little warm. In fact, I think we're gonna lose the hat for the time being as well. There's another trail somebody made. Someone not human. There is an interstate highway not far away, and you can hear the traffic along it. Not ideal, but you know, with every step, 
you just let your foot go where it's going to go and be ready to uh, sort of keep your knees kind of springy so you can adjust to whatever's happening. Keep everything loose and avoid sprains and twisting your ankle and whatnot. If I stumble and fall sideways, I'll just turn my body so that uh, I fall against my backpack. To our left is a small stream running through there. It'll make its way down to Stony Creek. Here's a bridge, but I don't believe that this is uh, Stone, Stony Run Creek, I think it's called. I don't think this is it though. It doesn't look like it's big enough to be. Okay, this looks maybe more like it. The actual Stony Run Creek. Still, I'm not sure. Not certain if that is big enough. It's flowing the right direction though. Should be coming from our left and flowing to our right. So that might be it. So if we look at these utility poles, seem to be running north. We can uh, take note of when we pass back under them. So the trail should go back toward the east. We should go under those again. Help orient us. Hi there. Hi, how are you? Good. Just filming myself coming. I, saw that. <laughs> yeah. I look like you were hanging back. Appreciate that. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 Do you want to be on camera? Well, it turns out I'm not the only one out here today. We just passed a guy who was cross country skiing. And uh, so we chatted for a bit. I uh, was going to get him on video because I had it rolling. So I asked if he minded. He said, no, that's fine. And. Uh, because he makes YouTube videos himself. Um, but, uh, oh, camera was acting up. And uh, so I said, ah, okay, I guess it's not meant to be. Here's a, uh, this is like a plank here, a little, little wooden bridge there. I didn't see it as I was coming up on it. But there's a little stream running under there. So, heel and toe it across here. Something like that's covered with snow. But that's a that's a possible opportunity for you to stumble to the side and then plunge your foot right down into the stream. So that is why I have the extra shoes and the extra pairs of socks in my backpack. taking small steps now because I suddenly became aware of the fact that for the last minute or two I'd been fighting, trying to fight the snowy terrain. 
rather than just going with it. So I decided to slow down, take <laughs> take steps that are more uh, um, sort of directed downward instead of trying to propel myself forward. Oh, we just went under those uh, electric lines or whatever those telephone lines, whatever they are. So, <clears throat> that means we're going eastward. Of course, we know that because the sun is over our right shoulder. But, this will be sort of the last leg of the trail here. <clears throat> Should be generally uphill at this point. Got my hat off, my gloves off, and my scarf off. I forgot to mention my scarf when I went through my layers earlier. guess that this looks cooler in the winter, a better piece of scenery in the winter than most times of the year. This part's even steeper uphill, but so be it. Take tiny steps and just keep going. A continuing climb. We're around the next bend, it looks like. <clears throat> Uphill some more. <sighs> yep. Turn a corner. More uphill. These are rhododendron, and I guess I didn't remember that they keep their leaves so long. When th those things are in full, you know, full bloom, they'll probably be mostly covering that trail. I think we should have started, go, we should have done the other way. Right. We should have done the trail counterclockwise. So we'd have started with this, <clears throat> a big long downhill portion, and then gradually regain the elevation. And it still goes uphill. Over to the left, I can see one of the buildings that's along the main road coming into the park. So. I know that we're not too far from the end, so we'll come out at a camping area that's just across the road from where we parked. I think I see pavilions up ahead. Yeah, I see some structures over there. <clears throat> so, we are not far at all from the end. It's a nice trail. I've been wanting to do it for two or three weeks, but here in Pennsylvania, our first big snowfall was about eight inches, and then in the couple of weeks after that, we'd we had I think maybe three more snowfalls of around an inch or two each, and. Uh, very cold, 
temperature has been, you know, like between, say, 0 and 20 around the clock for quite a while now. But today, since it was going to get above freezing, I thought this would be great. Now we're looking at the very last stretch of the trail right in front of us. You can see there are vehicles beyond. Back in the car, I've got some chickpea snacks, which I'm ready to munch on. Give Nyla a call, let her know I'm out of the woods, and I'm finished, I'm safe and sound. And then, drive back home.